During a visit to the zoo with her newborn, a mother introduced her baby to a female gorilla through the protective glass. This caught the attention of the zookeepers, who were shocked and hurried to capture the moment with their cameras. What would happen when the gorilla approached the baby, and how would she react to such a vulnerable human? Emmalina Austin heard whispers around her as she held her son Canyon close to the glass for the gorillas to see. Canyon was asleep, unaware of the female gorilla watching him from a distance. As the gorilla approached the glass, surprise murmurs filled the air. Oh my goodness, what's happening? She needs to move her child away. The crowd didn't understand why Emmalina felt comfortable showing her son to the gorilla. She found their concern amusing. The strong glass barrier ensured safety, and since Canyon was too young to notice his surroundings, he was unaffected by the gorilla. Contrary to expectations, the gorilla was very interested in the baby and attracted the attention of the other gorillas. The gorilla tapped on the glass and rested her palm against it as if trying to touch the hand of the one-month-old asleep in his mother's arms. This unique interaction amazed everyone watching, showing a touching bond between mothers of different species. The memorable event took place in 2021 during Emma and Michael's visit to Boston's Franklin Park Zoo. With over 220 animal species, the zoo was special to the couple as it was where they first met and wanted to create new family memories. This outing was their first since Canyon's birth a month earlier. Despite the past month's challenges, the joy Canyon brought made it all worthwhile. Emma and Michael explored the zoo and eventually reached Gorilla Grove, home to the Western Lowland Gorilla family. The grove had recently been upgraded to provide more space for the gorillas to play. Emma, having visited before the renovation, was excited to see the improvements. Gorilla Grove, now filled with vines and a waterfall, closely resembled the gorilla's natural habitat. The guide explained that the grove also offered foraging opportunities, encouraging the gorillas to search for food throughout the day. Today, unlike most days, the gorillas were outside. The young ones played and received a lot of attention from their mothers, while the adult male silverbacks relaxed in the cool areas and watched the visitors passing by. Among these gorillas was Kiki. She had spent much of her life being cared for by humans and learning how to show care and affection. Despite this, her natural material instincts were strong. Even before she had her own offspring, she took it upon herself to care for the young ones of other group members. She was often seen looking after the babies, holding them close, and nurturing them just as their mothers would. This gave the new mothers peace of mind, knowing their young were safe. One significant day, Kiki's role as a caring figure became crucial for the survival of the gorillas at the zoo. At 17, Kiki was present when Gorilla Grove welcomed its first gorilla birth in the zoo's history. The baby, a female named C, was born to 23-year-old Coco. Newborns need to stay near their mothers for the first six months and be breastfed for about three years before venturing on their own. However, complications arose during C's birth and Coco couldn't deliver her naturally. After an emergency C-section, Coco rejected her baby and became hostile when zookeepers tried to bring them together. Without her mother's care, the infant developed numerous health issues, including pneumonia. C's father tried to help but couldn't provide the needed care. A zookeeper was ready to take over, but Kiki, who had no offspring of her own, instinctively stepped in to care for the baby. She handed the newborn over for bottle feeding by the zoo's care team and then brought her back to the enclosure. Thanks to Kiki's attentive care, C recovered and adapted well to zoo life. When Kiki started having her own offspring, she proudly showed them to the visitors, always keeping them within sight. Her youngest, Pablo, was seven months old during Emma's visit and was still exploring the enclosure. For Pablo's first two months, Kiki was extremely protective, not letting anyone come close. Even seven months later, Pablo's father, Combi, was not allowed to interact with his son. Whenever Combi tried, Kiki would defensively move Pablo away. The zookeepers decided it was best for Combi to wait until Kiki felt ready to let him near their son. They often joke that if a baby ever ended up in the exhibit by accident, Kiki would probably prefer to keep it. This showed her strong material instinct. When such a dreadful incident actually occurred, they saw the full extent of Kiki's compassion towards young ones of any species. Five years before Emma's visit, a young boy on a weekend outing to the zoo climbed over a barrier and fell onto the concrete floor below. All seven gorillas nearby moved towards the distressed boy. While his parents on the other side of the glass called for help, the boy cried out for his dad as a gorilla surrounded him. The dominant male, driven by curiosity, reached out to touch the boy, causing him to retreat to a corner of the enclosure, trapped and scared. 
By the time zoo staff had arrived, the three-year-old Boyd had cried himself nearly silent and barely responded to their shouts. The staff hesitated to enter the enclosure with all the male gorillas present. Normally, they would wait until the gorillas moved indoors to avoid provoking them. They needed to handle the situation delicately to ensure the boy's safety. While they debated their next steps, Kiki, with her infant clinging to her, emerged from where she had been resting. She quickly understood that a human child was in their habitat. Despite the presence of the male gorillas and the crowd on the other side, Kiki approached the boy. His eyes were swollen from crying and his clothes were dirty from the fall. At first, he was afraid of Kiki, but he stayed still and quiet. Kiki then looked at the parents, who silently hoped their son would be safe. His mother, with tears in her eyes, silently pleaded with Kiki to be gentle. Kiki, who had recently become a mother herself, felt a connection with the distressed mother. Quickly, Kiki hugged the boy. As she lifted him, he fainted in her arms. Understanding how delicate he was, Kiki gently carried him to the entrance of the enclosure, where zoo staff and medical personnel were waiting. As they approached, the staff used water to keep the other gorillas from following them, allowing Kiki to pass through easily. She handed the boy to the zoo staff without any problems and then returned to her family. The boy had a broken hand and minor facial injuries from the fall. He spent four days in the hospital before being released, and he eventually recovered completely. Because of what she did, Kiki not only saved the boy from possible harm, but also won hearts all around the world. This led to her receiving extra treats and care from the zoo staff. Many visitors, including Emma and her husband Michael, came to the zoo excited to see the heroic gorilla. While they were walking near the gorilla enclosure, they noticed a crowd gathering. Fascinated by Kiki as she interacted with Pablo, Kiki was completely focused on her son, ignoring the people and their cameras. Emma, who had recently become a mother herself, felt a connection as she watched Kiki take care of Pablo and admired the bond between them. She looked at her husband and then brought Canyon closer to the glass, unsure if Kiki would notice them, but hopeful that her baby would catch the gorilla's attention. For a few moments, Kiki continued playing with Pablo, occasionally looking over at Emma and Canyon. Even though she was curious, Kiki was reluctant to take her attention away from her son. However, Emma was determined. Her husband suggested they should leave, but Emma was convinced that Kiki was interested in Canyon. She gently moved the blanket away from Canyon, revealing his hand, and smiled as his fingers curled around hers. Emma gently tapped the glass to get Kiki's attention and brought Canyon closer. This caught Kiki's curiosity. She approached the glass, observing the sleeping child, and made gentle sounds of delight. Even with the glass barrier and no way to speak to each other, the connection between the two mothers, bonded by their love for their sons, was clear. Kiki settled on the ground, copying Emma's position. Emma placed Canyon's hand against the glass, and Kiki did the same, as if longing to touch him. Kiki signaled towards Canyon, puzzled why the other gorillas weren't as enchanted by him. She and Emma exchanged a look, acknowledging their shared maternal bond. Behind Kiki, Pablo was busy playing with leaves, unaware of his mother's fascination with the human baby. He patiently waited for her to return, keeping his distance from the guests and other gorillas. Kiki looked back at her son, then turned her attention again to Canyon. Emma introduced Canyon to Kiki, sparking Kiki's desire to do the same. She wanted to show her son and express her pride. He was Kiki's first son and the first male gorilla born at the Boston Zoo. Kiki used hand signals towards Emma and Michael, leaving them puzzled. Soon after, Kiki walked away, leaving Emma to wonder. Despite Kiki leaving, Emma felt happy for the shared moments and Kiki's joy in seeing Canyon. Emma and Michael decided to explore other parts of the zoo, and as they were leaving, Michael saw Kiki signaling them to stay. To their surprise, Kiki came back. She was holding something moving under her arm. It was Pablo, her youngest. At first, Pablo was hesitant, but Kiki gently encouraged him to come closer to the glass. Curiosity got the better of him, and he locked his gaze on the sleeping baby in Emma's arms. Though initially unsure, Pablo, like Kiki, was fascinated by Canyon. He pressed his face against the glass, eager to see the baby. He turned to Kiki, gesturing towards Canyon, showing his interest. Kiki and Pablo leaned in, touching their noses to the glass together. Overwhelmed with emotion, Michael and Emma had tears in their eyes as they watched the special connection unfold. More people gathered around, drawing the attention of the zoo staff. When the zookeepers arrived, they were astonished by what they saw. They realized how rare it was for Kiki to be so fascinated by a human baby and for Pablo to show such immediate affection. 
The staff helped Michael and Emma take photos to capture the moment and later shared the story online. Many onlookers told the couple they had never seen anything so touching in all their visits to the zoo. They thanked Michael and Emma for sharing such an unforgettable moment. As Michael and Emma left, Kiki and Pablo walked alongside them behind the glass, watching them until they were out of sight. This rare interaction between humans and gorillas left a lasting impression on everyone who witnessed it. Later, Michael shared the story on Facebook, calling it one of the most remarkable experiences of his life. He was filled with joy and gratitude for their decision to visit the zoo that day and for Emma's initiative in engaging with Kiki. They knew this was a story they would tell their son Canyon when he was older. It was a special day they would remember forever. In 2023, Emma and Michael visited the zoo again, this time with their two-year-old son. They looked around excitedly till they found Kiki and her youngest son Pablo, who was almost three and often played near his mom. Kiki was sitting under a shelter watching Pablo. Emma knocked on the glass to get Kiki's attention. At first, Kiki didn't respond, so Emma tried again. Kiki glanced at them briefly, but didn't move. They had hoped Kiki would recognize them so they could reintroduce Canyon, now a bit older. As they wondered what to do next, Kiki left her spot and came closer. She remembered them. She looked at Canyon, who curiously looked back. It had been a while since her last meeting, and Kiki was surprised at how much Canyon had grown. She pressed her hand against the glass, and after his parents encouraged him, Canyon did the same. Kiki then lowered her hand and shared a grateful look with Emma before returning to Pablo. The two mothers remembered each other and their young sons, connected by their shared maternal love despite being different species. What a touching story. Would you let your child form a bond with an animal? Do you think Kiki really remembered Emma and Canyon? Share your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and hit that notification bell for more amazing stories. And I'll see you in the next video.